Hello, 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 and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. Any questions as to the services that I provide, what it is that I do, um, any questions on Patreon, and all of that fun stuff down below in the description. So we are back with your weekly fire sign. So that is Sagittarius, Leos, and Aries. So, um, okay, guys, I had to like straighten all my myself, make sure that I look um, presentable. Uh, that's type. That's the type of energy that I'm um, looking at. Um, that I'm feeling, that I'm sensing is um, someone um, someone is coming forth to present something to someone or someone um, is in a space of receiving something and you want to look or play the part appropriately. So if you're going into, um, if you're going into an interview, if you're starting a new relationship, a new connection, whatever it is, it's like you want to play the part. You want to look like you fit into the space so you fit into this um, energy. If you are expecting something, um, something that you have been working on, on trying to manifest, whether it is, you know, financial career, um, connections with people in general, new business, whatever it is, it's like you kind of want to be in that space and those energies of playing, not so much like playing, but you want to be in that space or that energy of being the part, um, seeing, you know, if, whether it is that you're, you know, again, a promotion, whatever it is, it's like you want to be seen as what that part or that thing entails. Um, if you are trying to um, go like, you know, trying to pursue someone emotionally um, in a romantic connection, you want to allow that person to see you as the person that they see themselves with. Or maybe, um, I do feel that very few of you have been having this sense of this energy of like, kind of like, be ready because what you have been trying to manifest or the person you've been praying for or the person that you have been waiting to come into your life is coming into your life so it's like you kind of like have to be ready for them and i'm kind of like smiling because it's kind of like I, I pick up this kind of like child like type of energy when it comes to like thinking of like love and thinking of like a new person a new love a new connection or a new beginning within an old connection it really doesn't matter but it's something that has you fire so i'm very excited and very in this space of just kind of like wanting to be ready wanting to um be able to receive whatever this is or to give whatever it is that you're trying to give um from a place really that allows you to be To be yourself for some of you this definitely does have to do with um, a person from the past or somebody that you have felt a very strong connection with somebody that you feel that things just didn't go the way that they were supposed to be um, maybe there was a lot of interference from other people from other individuals and the two of you had to take um, some time apart had to go your different way and even though you and this person or one or the other decided to go into connections with different people those connections didn't play out either because it whatever it was was just meant to happen for each of you to learn your lesson for each of you to learn something that you obviously could not learn with each other or from each other but I do feel that whoever this person is from the past is kind of like rushing in and wanting to reconnect. But the thing is that both of you are in this space of, you know, wanting to reconnect with each other, but wanting to be very clear with each other that it's not to repeat the same things from the past. It's not to go ahead and hurt each other or get to a place where the two of you are parting ways again. It, instead, it's like both energies are wanting to come together, fire signs, to really work on this and really allow this to be um, what it is that it was meant to be from the beginning. Some of you feel like this is this person, um, this individual from your past is like your other half. They they bring out the best in you and even though at some point in the past they brought out the, the worst in you, it did trigger you and it did help you get into a, a space of being able to heal yourself and being able to really let go of things that were not serving you and things that you really were supposed to let go of and that you really were supposed to learn, which is quite um quite beautiful. Um when it comes to um, 
like the work environment um there there is going to be some type of um some type of issue not so much about you like losing your your job or anything like that but i am picking up fire sign there is going to be some type of gossip um where you're not even going to you're not even going to be aware of what is going on until it has been resolved. So someone is going to probably come up and say that you did something or you failed to do something or whatever it is. But it's like there are people behind you or people within that space. And if it's not work, it can be within a group of friends or whatever it is. But there is an energy of a gossip being started about something that you either failed to do or failed to see or failed to correct. But the thing is that those that hear the gossip that are loyal to you and those that know who you are and how you do things, whether when it comes to friendship or work, are going to be, um, they're going to be like kind of defending you and things are going to clear up. So by the time it gets to you, by the time you hear of this gossip or thing, um, it has already been resolved. This person from the past, um, as you're coming in, I do feel that with um, you fire signs, you ha you are either entertaining someone new or someone has caught your eye or someone is kind of like, um, <sighs> what is that word that I'm looking for? I have like stuck in top of my head but it's like someone someone has caught your eye somebody has caught your attention and you are getting to know someone even if you haven't um jumped into like a relationship or anything like that with this person there is someone that you see a potential with as this person is coming in from the past so whoever it is that is coming in from the past is coming in like full force um coming in to offer you everything that you have ever wanted and desired because they feel they feel you kind of like pulling away they feel you um pursuing or wanting to pursue something else and I know some of you are probably asking, well, are they just coming back because they're seeing me with someone else or are they coming back because they really have worked within themselves? They have done some work to a certain point within themselves and they are at that place where they are ready to, to commit whatever it is that they are offering. And let me explain that. So maybe this person from the past is coming in to commit and not wanting to jump into like, let's say moving in together, even if this is somebody that you have experience with or, you know, a past huge past with, but instead they want to start dating, um, exclusively just you and not wanting to date to see what else is out there, but they're wanting to date to trying to get to know you at a different level or wanting to be in a committed relationship with you and just you even again if it's not in the sense like let's say if you were married or you guys were living together and this person moved out instead of wanting to move back in this person wants to kind of start a relationship again from the beginning because they have realized that if they jump into moving back in with you or wanting to pick up where things were then there is a higher chance of repeating the same patterns because even though that you know anytime that you guys spend apart there is growth within each of you which is within each individual so you have to kind of learn to get to know the other person and really kind of do it from a place of commitment because i feel that whenever this person comes back and just wants to jump right back into like be living with you and all of this like overburdening type of thing then their temptation when when they are tempted outside of the relationship is so much greater and so much stronger and allows them to fail every time and i feel that this is something that this person has realized and it's like no i want to work on these type of temptations that i know within myself that i have to deal with um at a rate or at a pace that i know that is going to give me the higher chance of not falling for them again i hope that makes sense to you guys there is for some of you um and this is probably just one person or whatever but there is somebody that has been hoping and praying for a pregnancy praying for a child and i 
it's like I can see the child and I can sense the child and it's like stop when you find out that you are expecting do not go into that space or those um, energies of overthinking or over worrying about what could go wrong with the pregnancy instead um, be grateful that you are expecting and be grateful for all the beautiful and the blessing that this child is going to bring into your life fire sign again you know as i always say i didn't say it at the beginning of this video but you know these are very general readings there are a small part of your water sign um, to give water signs excuse me fire sign water sign was the ones that i did earlier um fire signs there are some of you that are are carrying a heavy secret a heavy there's something that you need to get off your chest um in regards to either something that you learned about someone or something that you did to someone but there is something that is weighing very heavy on your heart very heavy on on your life and it's really making it hard and difficult for you to even um get your day-to-day -day things kind of done because all you keep on getting dragged back is into these this secret that you have been holding Maybe you know of someone that has been um, cheating on their partner or someone that, is, someone that is getting cheated on or you heard a rumor of someone that is, you know, that is out cheating on someone that is very close to you or whatever it is. Now, how it is that you're going to come about bringing that secret, secret out to the open, it is up to you. I can't tell you to go ahead and tell the person, hey, your so-and-so is cheating on you or I heard so-and-so, maybe you want to let the individual that is cheating know that you are aware of it and that if they don't come forth, then, you know, you're going to expose whatever it is. But there is someone, there's some type of betrayal that has been done. Now, whether it is you that cheated or, you know, and if it is not romantically, maybe somebody stole something from someone or whatever it is, but there's something uh, that is of a huge betrayal, whether you did or whether you witnesses, when it's witness it or you are aware of it, it's like it's eating you inside not to let the person that was betrayed know that they were betrayed. Ooh. Ooh. Again, that pregnancy keeps on coming up for those of you that want um, want a baby. Some of you are wondering if if the person that you continuously um, are thinking about that continuously keeps on crossing your mind is there a, a, why am I thinking about this person so much why is this person in my energy in my space and my thoughts so much are they really the person that I'm meant to be with and if so how do I get that clarity how do I um, allow myself to really know type of thing and that is something that you're being um advised to go within yourself and to ask um your own guides your own angels for for that for that clarity because i feel that a lot of you have been given the clarity but because of what has transpired because of what has happened within the past i want to say six months to a year you have really got into a, into a space of really questioning this again Some of you have um, feel that you have that you you have been single, you have been alone for way too long, or if you just came out of a connection, or you just came out of like, like a relationship, you're questioning yourself how long you're gonna be. Some of you are very afraid of being alone. Some of you are afraid of not finding true love. And that in itself can be what you, what has been blocking love from coming in. 
Because then the thing is, if you're so eager about love outside of yourself, then what is it that is inside of you? What, what, what is it that is so wrong or so bad about you that wants you to seek validation or love just outside of yourself, fire signs? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull out three um, cards. We're going to pull out one for Sag. One for Leo and one for Aries. These are the cards that are used as the main card for the extended reads. And those are posted on Patreon. And all of that information is down below in the description. So let's see, Sag. What is your card, Sagittarius? Yeah, you guys have to, there, when it comes to the past, past thought patterns, past um, way of um, thinking when it comes to love, you have to change that perspective. You have to change that point of view. And know that you are worthy of love. And that same excitement, that same preparation that we had in the in the beginning of the reading. It's like you guys have to try and stay in, in that space and in that energy. And like the ones that I'm picking up now, it's like... I feel that it has more to do with those that are coming or just came out of a connection that ended. And it's kind of like kind of dragging you down or kind of putting you to feel like you're going to end up alone, if that makes any sense. So let's see, fire sign. So we have Sag. Card for Leo. Okay, and one for Aries. So for Sagittarius, we have the Six of Swords and the Reverse. And then we see her and she's, you know, she's riding off and there's three, there's a child, there's a woman, and then there's a one in a cape. All the swords are down, right? And it's like the one that is in the cape, the one that you can't see, that is you releasing those negative thoughts, those negative patterns, those negative things that you continuously did to kind of self-sabotage the her sitting down with the child is going back into the space of knowing that you can have the the love that you have been searching for that you have been waiting for as long as it as long as you have you have been giving yourself that self love as long as you have been healing healing whatever it is that has to be healed and letting go of whatever it is that you have been asked to let go of and it's a like kind of like finally putting an end to this self-sabotaging energy of not allowing yourself to receive the blessings, not allowing yourself to receive the love. So it's kind of, um, I actually kind of like that, um, Sag. Um, Leo, we have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. You see how she's sitting on her throne and she has her dogs and she has her sword. And it's like something within yourself. There's something that you have to kind of put the sword down. You have to stop fighting. You have to stop um, kind of going after, um, in, in, from a space of wanting to protect yourself when it comes to love, when it comes to trying to find, um, trying to find that balance within yourself, you have to really allow yourself to feel things. Um, putting up your guard is not the same as setting boundaries. Setting boundaries is more of a space of something that people have to um you set the boundaries to to know what what will you allow and don't allow from people but knowing that your emotions excuse me <clears throat> your feelings are something that are true and are real and even though certain boundaries are set in place it does not mean that you're not vulnerable it does not mean that you do not feel and it does not mean that you do not allow people to come in when you have your guard completely up and do not allow anyone in and completely block everyone out then you get into a space where it gets really hard to connect with individuals. It gets really hard to find love. So during this time, Leo, you're being asked to go ahead and put your guard down. And instead of putting your guard completely up or keeping it up, set the boundaries that are going to help you allow people to come in at a pace and at a, in a way that allows you to kind of be, to be comfortable with because you have 
control over how it is that you allow other to um to interact or to behave in the space of your life if that makes sense and then areas we have death and i feel that you know areas if you guys um if mainly your guys are the ones that are probably coming out of a relationship and coming out of a connection and it's like you're probably kind of still in that space of like the uncertainty or the unknown and really wanting to really wanting to believe in love again really wanting to believe that there are good people out there that there are people out there that excuse me that have are gonna have your best interest at heart and stuff like that. So for for this week, um, Aries, your main challenge is going to be that that back and forth within your mind, that back and forth within your own thoughts, and kind of finding that balance within yourself and within your own mindset, within your own emotions, and knowing that whatever has come to an end came to an end for a reason that whatever came to an end was supposed to come to an end at this particular time because whatever it was that you were supposed to learn during those space whatever it was that you were supposed to learn while you were in that area in that time has already happened Alrighty, guys well that is all that i have for you fire signs for this week as always thank you for all the love and support and i will see you guys back next week sending every single one of you love strength and blessing love you bye